there will be millions of climate refugees. They forecast that there will be millions of climate refugees in the world in the future. What do you think, Helena? Yes, Tony, you are right. Professor Neil Egger, a professor of anthropology at the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom, fears that in 15 years, most parts of the planet will be affected by climate change. Tony, what will happen around the world due to global warming? Helena, there will be a lot of disasters around the world. Millions of people are expected to be hit directly by floods, forest fires, and droughts due to extreme weather conditions caused by global warming. Katie, do you think there will be a lot of climate refugees because of climate change due to global warming? Yes, Tony, that's right. According to the Norwegian Refugee Commission, natural disasters have displaced 20 million people each year over the past decade, said Professor Edgar. By 2030, there will be climate refugees in almost all parts of the world, he said. Tony, if the drought is severe, there will be food and water shortages, is it right, Tony? Yes, that's right, Katie. They keep saying global warming's effects are not simply confined to extreme climates or climate refugees. Conflicts and wars could be incessant due to lack of food and water. Mia, as food and water shortages worsen, conflicts between tribes and nations will intensify, right Mia? That's right, Tony. Professor Edgar said that the price of major grain soared between 2010 and 2011, dropping about 44 million people around the world below the poverty line, and consequent looting continues around the world. That's right, Mia. Also, Professor Edgar predicted that in 2030, when the extreme climate is in full swing, there will be a larger number of refugees than now and governments around the world will suffer from looting, unrest, conflicts, and wars. Is it really negative for our future? Is that right, Leah? That's right. I agree with you, Tony. They will be incorporating social media into the physical world. They also predicted that it will be incorporating social media into the physical world. Leah, what do you think about that? Yes, that's possible, Tony. Jamie Bartrett, director of the Social Media Analytics Center, predicted that by 2030, virtual reality technology will make a leap forward, allowing people to physically communicate through social media. We can communicate through social media physically. That's cool, Liel. This development is expected to exert a greater ripple effect than existing social media such as Facebook and Twitter, which had not even appeared yet in 2000 and had a significant impact on the world, such as in the Arab Spring in the 2010s. Social media equipped with VR technology is not simply about walking around with a headset or implementing ambiguous augmented reality. Social media will be combined with information technology that processes big data, virtual reality, and augmented reality technology. Then, through their smartphones, people can not only get information about others who fit a specific moment, environment, and goal, but also have a conversation with them directly, Bartred explained. So far, we have looked at some of the things that will happen in the future in 2030. Thank you for watching the video. 
2030 Future Outlook Part 2 provided by History and Current Events. I'm Helena, Mia, Katie, Leah, and Tony have contributed so far as five narrators. Thank you.